Auto brings self-driving tech to trucks, Allurion offers gastric bypass in a pill, a free coding university opens in Silicon Valley, and more. It's Tuesday, May 17th, and this is Crunch Report. There's a new startup founded by a group of former Googlers, including self-driving car pioneer Anthony Lewandowski, looking to bring self-driving technology to trucks. It's called Auto, and it just came out of stealth. Apparently, the company started out building tools that make truck driving safer, but now it's developing technology that can actually automate parts of the drive on highways. And instead of building all new vehicles, Auto is working on products that can be fitted onto existing trucks. Does the world really need self-driving trucks? Well, Auto's founders say these vehicles cause a large number of fatalities, and on top of that, there's a growing shortage of drivers. Auto isn't the only super ambitious startup that we're covering today. There's also Allurion, which offers a pill that's supposed to serve the same function as gastric bypass surgery. The way it works is that you swallow Allurion's ellipse device, and then it expands to fill your stomach so you don't feel hungry. After about four months, it opens up, and then, well, you poop it out. And unlike other gastric balloons, the ellipse isn't supposed to require anesthesia or a doctor. Allurion is already selling its pill in Europe, while in the United States, it's seeking FDA approval and plans to conduct a clinical trial next year. French entrepreneur Xavier Neal is hoping to educate 10,000 students over the next five years at a new coding university in Silicon Valley called 42. The school is free and it will occupy a 200,000 square foot building in Fremont that's already filled with IMAX. What it doesn't have are professors. Instead, it relies on peer reviews, coding projects, internships, and gamification. There's already a 42 in France, but the US version is now open for applications. To get in, you don't have to worry about your grades or SAT scores. Instead, anyone between 18 and 30, so I'm too old, can compete for a spot by completing coding and logic challenges. Time for a little culture. Google says it has developed a new gigapixel camera designed to capture the finest details of the world's great works of art. This is part of the Google Cultural Institute, which aims to preserve the world's history and culture and put it online. The goal of the new camera is not just to capture the basic image, but also to reproduce the experience of getting up close and seeing the brush strokes. The company has already shared about 200 of these images before this, but without the new camera, the process for capturing them was slower and required expensive equipment and trained experts. Starting today, you can see the first thousand images captured with the new camera, including artwork by Rembrandt, Van Gogh, and Monet. Uber is introducing a new feature that allows family members to keep track of each other when they're using the ride service. It takes advantage of something that Uber unveiled earlier this year, family profiles, where you can add other Uber riders to a group and then pay for all the rides on the same card. Now there's a trip tracker that allows the person in charge of the group to find out about every ride taken. They'll get a notification when the ride starts and they can follow its progress in real time. If you're the person in charge, most likely the head of the family, you'd find out about the ride anyway through the receipts but this provides the information in real time. Uber has been testing the feature in a handful of cities before launching it more broadly today. That's the report for today. I'm Anthony Ha. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. By the way, this is gonna be my last episode as host. And I mean, I just wanna be clear, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still gonna be writing articles and making videos for TechCrunch. But I did wanna take one second just to thank all of you so much for watching. And of course, Crunch Report will be back tomorrow.